Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. In this video, I would like to ask the question, are dragons actually good for Skyrim? Now, as you guys probably know, Skyrim's got dragons in it. Dragons are the main focus of the main quest and they are pivotal in a lot of things. You have the dragon born, you have the dragon words, which give you magical shouts that do a lot of different things. And also the dragons shout too, and they're just tough enemies to kill. But do they help the gameplay as much as like, set, let's say, Oblivion's Deidre? It's always a question I think I ask myself. The short answer is no, the dragons do not help, and it's the way that they are executed, okay? So let's take the basic premise of the dragons. The dragons are big enemies, they're massive enemies, and when they fly around, the entire human populations will fight the dragons, and the dragons will cause mass destruction. But what do you get out of the dragons? You kill them, and you get their stuff, and you make money, and you get a dragon soul. But you then use that dragon soul to take the words that you learned, and use that to learn a spell type. Now, you have these epic spell types. They're really cool. And they're kind of like the, the game's version of the greater powers. I would say, those were both my knees, by the way. I guess my knees don't like me sitting here. But it's kind of like the game's way of adding another set of spells. And the dragon, the dragon powers, I think, are the main focus. The dragons themselves as enemies just, they don't do a lot. They fly around and land like a normal enemy and you kill them like a normal enemy. There's no weak point of the dragon. Some dragons have a little bit of a weakness to something, maybe, but other than that, there's not much that the dragons add other than a large mini-boss. And it's just, it's a mini-boss, but like all bosses in Bethesda game, it's just an enemy. It's not a special event. After a while, you hear the dragon and you go, oh, I now can learn another word, right? I wish that the dragons were executed more and played more of a part in the world. They're all like, oh, the dragons are coming back. But the dragons get taken down by like 10 people. It's like if you take 10 people, that's like an entire village. An entire village can defend against dragons. It's not that hard. And then you absorb the soul and learn the words. So it's not even that much of a reward when it comes to the game. They add dragons to add a reason for the words to exist, but I think they could have even done a Diedrich thing, another Diedrich thing, where they're like, the Diedrich world is seeping in and, you know, you're part of a Diedrich prince. Like, they could have made it so that you were born of the hero and the prince of Dagon, both in your bloodline, and then made it so you have the planes of Diedrich coming in. And instead of a dragon coming, there's like a portal, like remember Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess? When like an area was elapsed in Twilight and it was all messed up? You can just have it to where a freaking Oblivion Tower spawns and the area around it becomes an Oblivion Wasteland. And then you have to go and kill the tower. Like you could have done, like that would have been a lot better than just dragons because the dragons don't do anything so my thing about a, a skyrim is are the dragons good for the game is it really like worth it no it's not with what the dragons could have been the game doesn't use them to their full potential they're just another enemy and they're the reason why all the magic stuff exists and the magic stuff is cooler than the things that make the magic happen like i don't I don't get it. Like, same thing in Oblivion, by the way, where the Oblivion created a cult. Same thing. Basically the same story. But I, it just doesn't add enough for me. I would love to know what you guys think about the dragons in Skyrim in the comments below. I really don't think that the dragons add stuff to Skyrim at all. Um, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode of Stream Blog or Steam It Post of whatever I decide to make.